working on a train in Telepac today. <sighs> was getting a weird alarm. It was a RTM data storage error. And so everything that I could find out is telling me it's the main board, which is the 1U48. I know it's upside down, but 1U48. And it is behind, it's behind this board. This is the ECEM, which is the Economizer Control Module. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty easy, but uh, it's a weird alarm. I've never seen it, and most people I've talked to didn't even know that that alarm even existed. So just never, uh, you never know what uh, the day will bring, huh? So let's hope that this is a uh, success because I'll be honest, I really had nothing else to go off of and uh, this is really uh, my best guess, if you will. So I'm in the economizer section now. These are these screens that you see from the outside. And I got one last thing to replace, which is this enthalpy sensor. And then I'll kind of show you what you have to do uh, when you install a new main board. It's not literally just plug and play, but it's not that difficult either. And uh, I will show you that when I'm done with this. After you have replaced a 1U48 main board, you are gonna have to go configure this thing. And it'll pull you up here and it'll tell you configuration is required. So obviously you hit the configuration button. Next configuration top type model number digit one you're gonna use all of that and it tells you all the options and it kind of walks you through it it's really not that hard and after you're done you've made your selection enter next type of heating obviously second digit again the second digit that would be the E enter next 567 capacity 060 60 ton and I'm not gonna run through everything but you guys get the idea you know And yeah, I'm being quiet, but I'm letting you see it, you know. Comparative enthalpy, which I installed. So this here is where it gets a little different. See how it says 21 plus? It's 21 through 38. So that would literally be, you count it and you're starting to get way down into here. So when you see all these zeros, that just means a lot of the options weren't chosen. Um, so you gotta kinda, pay attention and it does bounce a little bit back and forth but this is how this particular unit is and that would be that And she fires up, which I'll, uh, guess I'll let you see, even though it's, you know, it's just a rooftop unit. Now, the nice thing was, is I have another one over there, even though I did this without going over there, I used that to confirm it, but that is using an older software version. And the way it's written is slightly different, but you know, nothing that can't be figured out. We're just waiting for it to fire. And uh, after I put the board in, I already tested it. I just got done putting that new enthalpy sensor in and we should be right as rain. I'm just, again, waiting for her to start up and then say hasta la pasta. Which I guess I can keep you here until she starts up, even though it's, you know, it's nothing fancy. Now this one, this is one of the older ones and I'll show you. So, that box right there in the middle, right?
that is a damper same with that one and they use that for head pressure control uh to you know on cooler days obviously it'll stay stay closed keep more heat in the coil but it is literally uh like used for low ambient cooling some of the the newer ones you know they're either on drives or the contactors kick off and on there's a bunch of different ways this is a little bit of their more old school way and in that little box right there is an actuator and that is literally how they control the head pressure and supply fan on good stuff now i'm just waiting for the uh condensers to kick in which they did before and i, I had all stages kick in so we are uh, good to go. As I said, there we go. Bing, bang, boom, done. Yep, downtown Austin. Good old Frostbank building. I do a lot of work at uh, that building as well. Anyways, any anyways, anyways. Hope everyone's having a good day. Happy HVACing.